Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to do a little bit of a different video today. So Sam and I announced on this channel first that we were pregnant. I believe we announced it was like October 2nd or 3rd. I remember the day we announced I was 13 weeks pregnant and now my sweet little Ezra is here. He is a dream. So I wanted to share a little me Bless you, Doug. So I wanted to share a little like, meet my baby. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you have probably got to see, oh my goodness, all the baby spam. I share tons of photos on my Instagram stories. I've shared like our newborn, like a little sneak peek at our newborns um, on my feed. And I just share him all the time on Instagram. Or if you follow my husband and I on our vlog channel, which I'll link right there for you guys, um, then you have probably seen the birth vlog and like the birth story already. But you guys have not seen him here. Oh my goodness, my sweet baby. So this, so I'm not sure if I can move past it. This is Ezra Miles Robinson. He is everything we could have dreamed of and so much more. He actually is swaddled right now. Him loves to be swaddled, but he likes to plot one, whether it's the right or the left, it doesn't matter, but he loves himself just one arm. Um, he is obviously a little redhead. He was born on April 8th, uh, 2022 at 5.02 p.m. I talked a ton about like my birth story and how he kind of had a dramatic entrance into the world. Um, over on the vlog channel and since coming home it has just been a dream like i remember you know everyone he was so good and quiet um he was awake but quiet in the hospital and everyone was like you know oh the second night is usually when they're worse and you know that's kind of when they realize like what's happened and so the second night will be rougher so we actually got discharged from the hospital after the like literally he was like right at 24 hours old when I looked at the nurse and I was like, okay, I'm ready to go home. And they discharged us. Um, it wasn't that easy, but when they said he doesn't have jaundice, then they were like, okay, you can go. So we got home just in the nick of time for night number two and he slept really good. So we kind of kept waiting and, and then everyone was like, you know, most babies, it takes them a couple days. He'll get there, don't worry, he'll be fussy and nothing. So we go to the pediatrician a couple times now and she said, in my experience, it kinda is about day 10 to 14. That's when you know they kinda can get a little bit more fussy. And she said, if, if by then they're not fussy, they just most likely aren't a super fussy baby. Here we are day 15 and he's just like this all the time. And he actually slept last night for nine hours. It was heavenly he has been such a good sleeper since he got home from the hospital he sleeps in about two to three hour increments um but he finally reached his birth weight and so the pediatrician was like don't wake him up anymore to eat at night time and she said that basically um i think so what she told us at least you need to check with your pediatrician if you are having or have had a baby recently she told us we didn't have to wake him up in the middle of the night after he reached his birth weight she said unless he reaches five hours she was like then when he reaches five hours you do need to still wake him up um i had to get up to pump to keep my supply up um yeah nine hours total he slept in a five hour stretch and then a four hour and it was heavenly um but he's just been a dream that's I, I could say that over and over again just like he's such a dreamy little baby he's so alert like when he's awake he's so alert and just like looks you dead in the eye um and everything about him has just been absolutely amazing breastfeeding is going it, it, I could not have picked a better breastfeeding experience myself if I tried. It's exactly what I wanted. I told people that uh, my goal was to basically breastfeed for six months. Obviously, we're only two weeks in, but I wanted to breastfeed for six months. And my goal was to pump every now and then to get, so that Sam could give him a bottle when I needed a break. Um, and I also wanted to hopefully pump some time in there to build a freezer stash. And that has been exactly what I've been able to do. So he eats like directly from me 99% of the time but there are some times I will like I can tell he's just fussy or he doesn't want to latch um or I do just like need a minute like I just need a break I will pump and give Sam the bottle and he takes a bottle with no problem um and I actually have been able to pump just one time a day and because I produce so much milk, like so much milk. Um, I have started a hefty freezer stash and it is all like we had to buy a deep freezer because there was literally no room in our um, freezer anymore. I think I counted the other day. I think I already have like 180 ounces like stored up of breast milk because it's just so much and he actually does take it. So that was one thing the lactation consultant told us. She was like, one, 
give him the colostrum. She was like, when he's still a newborn and he still needs those antibodies, um, I pumped a little bit trying to send myself into labor and that was what really got my contractions moving. The couple days before I had him, um, I pumped a lot and I got a lot of colostrum. She was like, give that to him when he is like newborn, needs the immunity. So I gave him some of that. He took it no problem. And then she had told me, you know, every, every couple weeks, every few weeks, um, take one of the breast milk bags out and test it. Like have him eat it and see if he will continue to eat it because it just changes and sometimes babies just don't do well with it and so far so good so it has just been a dream like I feel like it's a it's a pinch me moment and I also talked a little bit about my postpartum journey on my vlog channel um, and I think the biggest thing with me was I had watched a ton ton of postpartum videos and they all seem to be the same like I wanted to make sure I was really prepared for what was coming um, and I was very big on telling everyone like every pregnancy is different every like labor and delivery is different but I never I always thought that postpartum was the same because it looked like when I was hearing all these postpartum stories they were basically the same for everyone with their first baby and then the second baby was usually when it was easier and for me it was just it was so easy right from the jump and I just got really lucky but that was a big misconception I had like I thought every pregnancy can be different every labor can be different all the babies can be different the postpartum should all be the same and it just wasn't my postpartum journey has been very easy I'm very fortunate um, so yeah I could literally just sit here and talk all day about this little dude he is perfect I love being a boy mom I've already told Sam I'm like I want another one I want another one so bad and I want it to be a boy like I just love this little boy so he is just an absolute dream this is what he does so Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go just let him keep sleeping. Just dreaming away. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back to regular content very soon because I'm feeling so good. I'm so excited to get back. So thank you guys. We love you so much and we will see you in the next video. Say goodbye.